memiliki pengaruh besar terhadap kesadaran global tentang gaya hidup yang ramah terhadap hewan dan bagaimana cara penuh kebajikan ini bisa menghadirkan perdamaian yang langgeng di antara bangsa-bangsa sambil menyelamatkan planet kita dari perubahan iklim. Selama bertahun-tahun, Maha Guru Ching Hai telah ke berbagai penjuru dunia dari Amerika ke Afrika, dari Eropa ke Oseania, dan mengadakan ratusan ceramah kepada masyarakat umum dan murid-murid beliau mengenai berbagai topik spiritual. Hari ini kita terberkahi untuk bisa menghadirkan konferensi video yang berwawasan luas berjudul Jadilah Mulia, Berpikirlah Mulia, dan Inginkan Tuhan Saja bagian ke-8 dari 12 seri di acara antara guru dan murid yang disampaikan dalam bahasa Inggris 15 September 2014 di Los Angeles, California, Amerika Serikat. All beings, they're so gracious, you don't know it. They're so gracious, gracious, gracious. And they bless the world, no end. It's a pity that humans, many humans don't know it. Otherwise, they will worship the birds, they will love them, they will protect them, or they worship every other animals and protect them, you know? Hmm. They all yes, have, master. all animals have their mission, and purpose on this planet. Same with humans, they just don't realize it and then they continue to be influenced by the negative environment or negative power and they lost their purpose. So they have to come back again and again to fulfill that. Uh, many things, if I remember, I would tell you, but I forgot. There are many like gods of third level, they come and just want to look at me and pretend to come and ask for a penny for the telephone. A penny, you cannot use it for telephone, for example, <laughs> like that. And then when he left, they just turn around and look at me and smiling so blissfully, for example, like that. Or anyone, yeah, like appear from nowhere just to give us a, a, a parking place, yes? And yes, for example, master. even recently, recently, I mean, last month, because I, I don't have anyone to drive for me, I, I drove myself. And I drove, uh, I'm very scared of driving. I don't drive that often anymore. When I was younger, I drive more often, but still I'm not a very, uh, uh, how you say, professional driver because I don't drive that much. So I'm scared, but I had to drive because I have to go from one place to another to do meditation according to the, to the new, you know, newfound connection. And uh, one time I went to a place the car park is full, but there is a park place in the middle of two rows of cars, yes? Two rows of cars. Any good driver, any normal driver will be able to wigwag in there and park in the middle, but I could not. <laughs> I would bump into all the cars and then <laughs> the police will come. You understand me? <laughs> when I'm driving, all the heavens is awake, you know. My God, she's driving again. We have to... <laughs> something, you know, <laughs> and I make job with my assistant. I say, whenever I drive, the St. Peter is always anxious to wait for new souls <laughs> to arrive. <laughs> and whenever I drive, I pray for all protection, not for me, but for everybody on the road when I'm driving. <laughs> uh, so I could not drive to park in the middle of the two rows of cars. So I was standing there, and there was a young man he parked on the last row, which is next to the, you know, the bush, which is easy, like go direct in, no have to, have to turn left, turn right, and back up, back, back down, you know what I mean, yeah? Yes, yes, okay, master. Direct. And he saw me standing, uh, sitting in the car, hesitating, and say, he said to me, I will drive my car into the middle there, and you drive your car here. <laughs> He lent me, wow. he lent me his direct parking place, which is easy for me. All I do is just give gas, go in there, stop the car, block and go. See what I mean? Amazing, yeah. Master. Yeah, and then uh, I parked the car and then uh, I gave him one watermelon. <laughs> 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 he took it, he took it graciously. I say, one for you, I have another one. One for you, one for me. Yes, and he took it graciously, he smiled. 
And then when I take my uh, luggage, because I have uh, like a shopping car, I put my, you know, necessity inside and uh, some vegetable, yeah. And, and then when I try to take that car out of my trunk to go and then lock my car, I turn around, I don't see him anymore. Oh. The park place is small and the street is just uh, like a, a, a good as that, you know, small. He cannot disappear anywhere. There's no house around, no side street, nothing. <laughs> wow. And then I realized where he's from. Yeah. For example, like that, there's always some... Amazing something. master. Oh, yeah, they have to help me. What else? How, how else can I, I live? I'm such a small woman. I have to do many things myself. I don't have time to shopping. So sometimes I just eat anything, you know. But if you guys have a chance, have a choice, then eat more healthy, okay? Mm. Yes, Master. Because sometimes I have to eat raw, no, raw instant noodle. <laughs> 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 Meaning you don't cook it. You just take it out from the packet and chew it crispy like. <laughs> oh, Master. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no need the, the, the packet, the spice in it. No need to cook, just eat it. You know, the, 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 the noodle in the package, yeah? Oh, yes, Master. Yeah, that's really raw instant noodle. My God, I'm telling you. <laughs> I need to use it as extra sales, you know, before I meditate. That's why I didn't have time to shop. Sometimes I had to leave in the middle of the night or after midnight or one, two, three, four o'clock in the morning. No shops open and I can't take a lot of things with me. I'm small. I can't carry a lot of things. I was hoping there was some big shoulder to be my drivers. I'm busy. I'm a busy woman. I need to be sitting doing nothing. That's what I'm busy at. And so I drive, you know, I'm very uh, not proficient in driving, though. I drive very, very slow, carefully. I have to. Even then, uh, I scratch. <laughs> I scratch the curve and... You know, sometimes, and sometimes I have to stop because uh, I need to rest and then continue to drive again. <laughs> I had to rest even just for 30 minutes afterward because the concentration on this physical environment is very taxing to me. Yes, Master. Having to keep uh, my, my, my mind on the road and, and all around, it's really, really exhausting for me sometimes. You can't understand it because you guys are good drivers and you guys, driving are your stuff, you know. <laughs> it's not my stuff, not anymore. I'm getting my physical body, getting older now. And, and also my concentration is less on the, on the physical and more on the ethereal. Therefore, it's very tiring for me to drive, even a small car. Yes, Master. Yeah, sorry. Complaining. <laughs> I didn't that's, really that's, complain. That's, that's so dangerous for you, though. It is, uh, it we, is. we hope God can get you a, a Superman driver. But I had no choice. Sometimes I had no choice. Truly, I had no choice. Uh, sometimes I have one or two assistants, but I, they have to take care of dogs while I'm running. Understand? Yes, yes Master. They're all for dogs. Nobody cooked for me. Nobody oh. clean for me. Nobody wash my clothes for me. I do everything myself. Yes, master. Yes, Understand? Master. Understand? Yeah. And most of them, most of other people are go out to work in a loving hood, loving shop, loving whatever. You see what I mean? Yeah? And you guys are yes, busy, busy there. Even if you're not uh, in television anymore, you're doing other stuff, you see, to spread out the news in the world and... Check out internet for positive news and all that, and you're busy there. And even if I have one or two assistants, it's for dogs, okay? Yes, master. Not for me. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> so I had no choice. I really had no choice. And sometimes I thought I have, okay, I have a person here. He looks strong and big, and <laughs> he speaks English, and so... I, he drives well, so, oh, this, is, this would be it, but it's not it, you know? Uh, sometimes their ego or personal habit get in the way. Uh, and normally it, it should be okay. It's just in some urgent situation. 
this is not conducive or favorable to my uh, situation. So I just drive it myself. I drive the car myself. Yes, Master. I, I never know. <laughs> Humans are not always stable, okay? Yeah. Even if I have one, I never know if I have it or not have it. And then it's even worse because sometimes I thought, okay, he's still there, but he's not. You see, and then I planned this and that, and then I'm, I had to complete, suddenly I have to be all alone with the things that's supposed to be done for two, with two people. Suddenly I'm all alone. And it's, it's worse than, you know, if I was prepared or know in advance that I am alone. You see what I mean? Yeah? Yes, Master. I is never sure anything, never sure. So I do what I can whenever I can. <laughs> it's fun to be afraid. <laughs> Master, we pray for you and thank you very much for all you do for uh, us okay. and the world. You, You're welcome. Your name is like the Prince of England. But uh, I thank always, you. Thank you, Master. Yeah, thank you. Well, you are the you so Black Prince instead. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look Master. like a prince. Yes, yeah, so you're noble. You do, you're noble like a prince. You're doing noble work. Well, you teach us to do good and be selfless, so I try. Yeah. That's what the prince is supposed to do, okay? Yes. But I always prefer affectionately call you chocolate <laughs> because your skin <laughs> looks like chocolate. It's a much better name, Master. Yeah, okay. All right, love. Just a name. Mm. Master, tell me. could you please tell us about one of the happiest moments of your life? Oh, sorry, I don't remember, honey. I don't remember if any moment are happier than others. But I do have happy moments. I remember I'm the happiest when I give things to people when they need it. And, and I know that they need it, and I know that they're happy to get it. Then I'm very, very happy. But yes, I don't Master. know the happiest moment. I'm maybe sometimes happier than other time. It depends on the people's need. If I do give it personally, do you understand? It's happier yeah, than when I give it through uh, the disciples or when I instruct, like I always instruct Sihu to give donation or go relief to the disaster victims. I always instruct them to do it. But at that time, I'm more sad than happy because many people are affected and some people are injured and some people are lost. Under such a situation, I'm more sad than happy. But of course, I know that they are going to, to be happy a little bit if they receive it. But it doesn't comfort me in those situations when many people die. You know, we all die someday or another, but they die in such a suffocation, you know, like landslide collapse or earthquake, bury them alive and all children suffer and all that. This is terrible for me to bear. So even if I give donation through disciples, I don't feel happy. Not that happy. But for example, if I give somebody on the street and he was cold and hungry, and if I take him to a restaurant, feed him right away and see the smile on his face and give him my coat or my clothes to, to, to immediately relieve him from the cold and give him money to go buy more, and I see this happiness on him, then I am very happy. It's more personal, understand? It's more personal. Yes, Master. Yes. Or if I go to the dog shelter and see the dog is sick and they don't have enough money to buy medicine for him, I give and, and, and the staff are so happy, say he's going to get an operation right now that he needs, for example, like that. And then I come back and the dog is wagging tail and running around <laughs> after operation, well and good. Then that is really happy for me. It's more personal. I can see it. You see what I mean? I can see the... Yes, positive master. result, but otherwise I don't know when I'm more uh, the happiest moment of my life. I, I don't remember truly. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Thank you for, yeah. for sharing that. Um, master, I think we, we don't have any more questions. No? Wow. <laughs> Miracle. <laughs> <laughs> but we have some good news to share from around the world. Oh, wow. Please, please, tell me. We need that. She will start 
with the first good news. Uh huh. Okay. Hi, Master. Yeah. Um, with regards to peace. Yes. Um. One good news is that tourism to North Korea has been growing each year for the past several years, which seems in line with the advice that Master gave before that North Korea should be more open and share and exchange more with the free world. Yes, so that we know them. Yes, and love them more. <laughs> yes, so it's good. Yes, Master. Mm. Yes, and the next news is that. Um, we've been hearing about some good leaders who are down to earth, um, like mm -hmm. Nepali Prime Minister Sushil Koirala. He's mm -hmm. um, famous for his very simple lifestyle. Good, 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 good for him. Good for Nepal. Good example. Yes. Yes, Master. And the Indonesian President Elect Joko Widodo. He was from humble backgrounds, and he rose to be an inspiring leader for the people with a very clean reputation. Aha! Uh -huh. Good. Yes, and also in Italy, Master. Yes. The Prime Minister Matteo Renzi. He had the government's luxury cars sold off on eBay. Oh wow! Yes. Yes. He also wrote to me a, a little note uh, by hand. Yes. Oh. He's very, very kind, very humble person. Because I don't know if any prime minister would wrote me a hand note like that. Also, the the prime minister of Canada also wrote me a hand note, say, "Oh, thank you for extending a blessing all the way to Canada." And uh, the prime minister of yeah, Italian also so wrote sweet. me a hand note. My God, they're so nice people. They're so nice. Yes. Yes, Master. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So it it seems to be like Master has said. It seems that as the world gets better, so do the leaders. Yeah, they come out. 